Last weekend we flew 4,000 miles around the globe to track down the thief that stole my AirPods five months ago. In the midst of all the chaos, we also wanted to create content that showcases the strength of Apple's Find My feature and promotes them in a positive light. Almost like an advertising campaign, but bad. Bad advertising, if you will. I've always had quite the admiration for Apple and their marketing tactics and over the years I've thought what if I could make something for them? What if I could create content that they've never done before in a way that they've never thought? Now that's quite hard because they literally have budgets to do whatever the hell they want. Well, lucky for me, my chance to have a dream Apple advertisement was coming ever closer because as I flew from Thailand to Doha, I left my AirPods on the plane. Now, I wasn't allowed to go back on the plane to get them, but I was told, don't worry, when you get on the plane, you're on the same flight to Manchester, they should still be there. Which, okay, I believe them. Fast forward five months and I've still not seen them and they've been traveling the world and I've been on my stories, I've complained, I've kicked off, and I've just point blank moaned. Before I go on this like little quest, anyone know if the pole is dangerous? I'm actually genuinely so upset and they're still travelling around. Oh, I should be. Then a glimmer of hope, they landed back in Doha and they stayed there this time. And I watched them and I waited and I decided now was my chance and I was going to take action. I'm nervous. Don't think it's going to work. And these, these are here, right? So we're going to drive through this. There's a stay. I'm proper on edge, like. The queen. Queen? Right. right, I'm currently booking flights. Uh, I've managed to persuade Tom, who is a videographer I've worked with before, he's going to come with me. I'm not quite sure what the plan is yet. Um, I just know I'm looking at flights from Manchester to Doha. Uh, I reckon I need about 48 hours. Uh, to find um, the, the AirPods. Worst case scenario is they fly from Doha somewhere else before we get them on the weekend. I just know I need to go there and try and track them down. It's a bit like an episode of Catfish in my head. So this is all just fun and games? Yeah, really it is, yeah. It's probably the pettiest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> for the cost. For the cost of two flights, accommodation, car hire, and all that sort of stuff, I could have bought these AirPods four times over, but that wouldn't make fun content now, would it? Okay, so we had our not-so-planned plan, and we knew what we were doing. However, before me and Tom set off, it was important to sit down and discuss what were we actually going to do when we got near them. With a little bit of searching on YouTube, we found that you can actually locate your AirPods as you're getting closer to them. They'll beep and flash on your screen when you're within 50 meters. If your AirPods, AirPods Pro, or AirPods Max have gone missing, help is on the way with Find My. Once your iPhone connects to your AirPods, Find My will let you know if you're getting closer or further away from them. Not only that, but you can actually make sounds that'll play out loud if you press play sound. So we had two different ways that we could locate them. You hearing that? Is that it? That's it. They do it on their own. Do they? You guys hear that? Okay, so we can do something. <laughs> That's what we've got to work with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of bed. Today's the day. We're just about to head to the airport. Um, I'm going to pick Tom up on the way. Then hop in on a flight. We've got a four hour flight to Istanbul. We've got a four hour layover. We've got another four hour flight to Qatar. I've just booked car hire for when I get there. Um, I'm going to be tracking the, the AirPods all day today, so I'll let you know how it goes. Um, I guess the next time you'll see uh, this video, you'll be with me and Tom, and we'll be on the flight. But I just want to check in and say, oh, I'm nervous. Yeah, it's all right, it's all good. You all right, huh? Yeah, it's all right. This is full on detective stuff now. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Imagine if they've gone now. Last, last in at 9.38, but I've got 3G, so I can't check. Right. So, we'll be fine. I'll let you know in a minute. <laughs> I've seen people vlogging. Yeah. I've seen people doing like funny content, but I've never seen anyone try and make ads or try and make, try and promote a product or service, which makes it really challenging to do. Yeah, yeah. and here we are. But I'm a marketing <laughs> pro. <laughs> the gate closes in 15 minutes. 
and he's looking at this top of the aftershave. Lewis, do you hear me? Let's go. Shall we get? Want to explain what just happened? <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, Tom is the most stressful person I've ever travelled with. Right. So everyone knows that you get an hour for check in. You get it two hours before. Uh, sorry, an hour for security. He pulled me out of the queue. <laughs> And then he runs down here and look at the state of this. Like, turn the camera, look at, look at the queue. He's rushed to get to his, uh, another queue. Like, he's one of those guys that gets up when the plane lands. Like, he's one of those guys, a thousand percent. In my defense, right, the um, it said final call on the boarding, so that is the only reason I was running, but other than that. <laughs> And with on time Tom, having made sure we made that flight, we were on our way. However, whilst in the air, we had a little update that we didn't actually see until we landed. What's happened? I'm going to quickly document this. Looks like they've just set off flying. The airport is just down here. And they've lost signal there. Chances are, it might, it might be that they've flown. <laughs> and where, where are we currently? They, they have I've got it. Yeah. Istanbul right now. Istanbul trying to decide what to do. Right? If, they, if they've flown, they've flown. Nothing you can do about it. Yeah. They might fly every day. We just don't know because they don't check every single day. Uh, fingers crossed we still get a shot. It's crazy. Imagine, imagine, <laughs> imagine we get there and then they've flown. And everyone's like, I flew 4,000 miles and my airports flew 4,000 more. Oh, fuck. You're so annoying. One pair of pants later. <laughs> <laughs> so, just update. I think they were on a boat. I think they were on a boat. They just, they just landed back on the, back on the, on the island. Well, that's the first time they've moved in three months. So, I, my heart sank. We landed in Istanbul. We were flying three hours a night. For them to fly away on the day, I'd have been, I'm mortified. Okay, so I was actually secretly very sad there, but you know what? We move, it's over, they're still there. Now, I actually went and bought a pair of wired headphones because whilst on the plane, I was getting more and more annoyed at the fact I couldn't watch films and I was refusing to buy a new pair of AirPods because I was so convinced I'd get them back. Fast forward a few more hours, we arrived in Doha, finally after 12 hours traveling. Two flights, eight hours, 12 hours traveling, and we're here. Doha. And I'm dent the check. I'm just not going to check what the airports are doing now. I can't give a fuck until tomorrow morning. Whatever. Not even checking. I'm not checking. Not really stressed like earlier on. <laughs> like, yeah, but we're here. We made it. Woo! Qatar. Phase one complete. I know I may have said I'm not going to check, but Tom seems to have caught me over my shoulder, taking a cheeky peek. And as we were driving down the road, I could feel my AirPods were within arm's reach, and there's nothing I could do about it. But tomorrow morning, I was going to set off on an adventure. What's the story then? So we arrived in Doha. Last night we got at about 3am, car hire cancelled and went home. So sound budget airlines, or budget car hire even. Uh, we're go I'm going to the airport now to go and get a car again. Um, I've been tracking the airpods this morning, they haven't actually moved. Apple finds my working a treat. So they've stayed where they are. They haven't actually moved. They're in the house where we think they live. Obviously, I had a bit of a scare yesterday because we they, they went into the ocean and we were like, shit, they've just taken off. And we're panicking and we were in Istanbul at the time on the way here. It turns out they went on a boat. These cheeky, cheeky bar stewards uh, were like on a little journey in the ocean and they went around the harbor, had a great day out. Uh, so the plan today is go and find them and locate them, maybe retrace their steps and go to the local supermarket where they went shopping yesterday, the other day and just sort of see, uh, be around the area and just sort of see if they do move. And if they don't, in a couple of hours, then I think we're gonna start looking at the house and start seeing if we can figure out how to get close to them and track them down. So, watch this space, I'm off to get a car. <laughs> <laughs> this is our bad boy. The whip. Steak out car. <laughs> do not crash, do not hit anything, because we can't afford to pay for the excess. No. <laughs> you know what I'm actually worried about, genuinely, 
is wax build up. Oh no. Wax inside the top of it. Having to dig someone's earwax out. That alone makes me think twice about going in back anyway. Well, I'm kind of a bit late for, for that, Ooh. isn't it? It's a 1.2 bad boy. Oh shit, he's got it. As I'm driving around, I'm getting closer and closer to finding my AirPods. Now I can see where they are, but we just can't quite get to them. We're taking back street side roads and heading through areas that I'd rather not get out of the car. But you know what? We remain unfazed. We're still hunting them and we're getting ever closer with every moment that passes. The best point is they leave the house right now. Yeah, yeah. The ideal would be that they come outside and we can, we can track them. Rather than Mike having to go up to them. It's in this building here. Um, looking at this. No, you can't. Well, I can get over there, right? On that side? Right, so we're here. They're there. I'm gonna walk up and try and connect to the Bluetooth. Alright. Literally sweating out, walking up and down this street, because I know they're in this building here. Or that one there. All the staff like Qatar, Qatar Airways, QAS, um, ground staff. I've checked those two buildings by walking through and pressing Bluetooth the whole way through. So it's got to be this one. On my left right now, and that door there is where people keep coming out of. QAS, uniforms. Let's wait and see. My AirPods are in this building next to, next to this one, and um, I've been in both apartment blocks. There's two apartment blocks either side. I've gone to every single floor and tried to connect the Bluetooth through the door. It's not worked. Another option is to play the sound, but I'm not going to do that yet. We've got another day yet, so by tomorrow evening, if we haven't had any movement, I'll probably try that in the evening. Basically, there's three buildings. There's a building here, a building there, and a building in front. The two buildings at the side, I went to every single floor, to the, each, each door of the apartment, and I held my phone there and tried to connect to the AirPods. There's only one that I'm suspicious it might be that one still. The map's really sort of accurate unless you can connect it by a Bluetooth. We just go there, track him, we'll find him. I forgot about the fact that I have to actually like knock on someone's door and maybe ask them if I can speak to them and then say, look, my AirPods have been reported stolen, they're here. Um, and you know what I mean, and ask them if I can press the sound. And there's, there's some things that are shared apartments, like a lot of people sharing apartments. Um, so I will be outnumbered like 10 to 1. But we'll wait and see if they move today. I'll just keep an eye on my phone. I'll put it on my laptop maybe on the screen and we'll just, yeah. if it moves at all, we'll just jump on it straight away. All right. For now, I think we should take a break. Um, we've been out for, what, three hours? Has it? Yeah, it's like 3 p.m. now, 3.30. Yeah. Go and chill, get a swim, recoup, and then I'll speak to the hotel and see what they recommend as well. Um, Sounds good. And then, yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Back to base. As much as I didn't want to admit it, I think round one of hunting the AirPods was a bit of a failure. I just couldn't find out what room they were in and I was stressing, I couldn't connect to the Bluetooth. On the way back to the hotel, I was thinking, oh my days, this is a wasted journey, I'm not going to get them back. But then I got talking to one of the gentlemen in reception who works there. Round two, we're going to go check uh, with the reception guy, he's going to come with us. He speaks Arabic, so uh, hopefully he can help us. Uh, we're going to knock on doors now, so... This is going to get a bit awkward, but there's, I think, one apartment that I know is pretty much the likely candidate for it. It's a shared apartment too, so I'm trying to head out there before it gets dark, but we've got like, what, an hour max? Yeah, well, fingers crossed. He actually offered to come with yeah, us boy. and said, here, look, I can translate if they're Arabic, but if not, I've got the balls to knock on the doors and you guys just have to stand there and smile. And I was like, okay, you're in. And that was Kareem. I'm having fun more than I'm so excited, but more than him. Is this the shelter? They're going. What? Really? On the street? Holy shit. For a moment we thought the airpods had started moving out the back after we'd notified the apartment block we were looking for them we ran downstairs but we we didn't see anyone there so the mission continued we actually walked floor by floor door by door trying to connect the bluetooth to see if we can get a hit and then we had one the left side of the airpod actually connected to my phone and gave us a more accurate location and that was it we were in we were hooked we weren't moving 
I was here a minute ago in the next door and I could and he connected to them. So they're in this building, whether it's this one or this one. Actually where they was just from the airport. When? Where they was from the airport. Last time, last time. This is the last time. I'm in the old metal or old metal. جنب المتعب التركي. And I just left in my phone number, so hopefully it's more of a video saying Fingers crossed. You think you found the left one? Exactly. It's always saying, huh? your left one, your left one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fast, fast, fast. Fast, fast, fast. We got him back, we got him back, we got him back. So basically, we knocked on loads of doors, went to loads of people's apartments, and uh, we was getting shown around, and we're getting closer and closer, and we can see it clicking and clicking. Apple finds my works. It was within, like, within 15 feet, so we knew it had to be that apartment, and no one's opening up, everyone's saying no. Went and stood outside, and we got him back. He got returned, 4,000 miles travel. <sighs> All right, when I say I'm elated, ecstatic, I cannot believe we got him back. I did not, in a million years, think we would've done it. Yes! Can I just say, if you're gonna get a pair of headphones, I would recommend a pair of Apple AirPods. Turns out they're very, very good and easy to track. And you can track them across the world. Cheers, Apple.